Today, we're going to create a digital painting of a banyan tree. You're going to need the ArtRage app and the Percolator app. If you want to be able to print, then you're also going to need a printer and some printing paper. Start by opening ArtRage, going to the menu, and then select Create New Painting. From here, you're going to type your name where it says name, delete what's written there, and type in your name. Once you have typed in your name, tap Done in the top right hand corner. I am going to use the oil brush for drawing my banyan tree. You can minimize the toolbar by tapping the bottom corner. Go into the two gears, which are your settings. You want to make sure InstaDry is turned on. Loading is set to 100. Thinners is 25%. Pressure is 100. And for this part, we want the size to be about 25%. I am going to go to the color palette and find black paint. Once you have found black, go ahead and minimize the color palette to get it out of the way. Use two fingers to pinch and zoom out on your paper just a little bit so you can see all the way around to the edges. Remember that at the bottom of the screen there is an undo arrow. That back arrow will let you fix any mistakes that you might make. I'm going to start by drawing the horizon line and then drawing the banyan tree. The banyan tree's trunk should overlap the horizon line and then it should have about four or five main branches coming off of that tree trunk. Oops, that one's a little too thick. Let's undo it and make it a little skinnier. Now I'm going to continue by coloring my tree trunk in solid black. Once you have done that, I'm going to go down to the settings and adjust the size and make it a little thinner so I can add the aerial roots. The aerial roots can kind of crisscross and wiggle over top of each other and they go from the bottom branches down past the horizon line. Once you have added this detail, I'm going to once again adjust the size, making it just a little bit smaller, and I'm going to add some more aerial roots kind of crisscrossing from one tree branch to the next. Don't forget that you can zoom in with your fingers. Your finger cannot change size when drawing on the iPad, but the screen size can change. So don't forget to zoom in and out. Once you are done drawing the arrow roots, we're going to add a new layer to our picture. Go to the layers and tap the plus sign. Once you have added the new layer, you want to go to the very top where the box with the two arrows, and we want to rearrange the order of our layers. Press and hold on the lines to drag it underneath of the tree layer. This layer is going to go underneath of the banyan tree. Here we will add all the colors for our background. Now I'm going to start by going to the settings. In settings, I want to make sure InstaDry is turned off. By turning InstaDry off, it will allow the colors to mix together. I am now going to think about what kind of color schemes I might want to use. For my picture, I have decided that I'm going to use cool colors in the sections between the tree branches. Now, what you want to do is just paint the color onto the space and then pick another color that would mix well with that color. And kind of keep them separated at first, then pick another color and kind of start to mix them together. Make sure you blend them together, overlapping the colors. Try to always color in the same direction so it doesn't look too messy. I am now going to switch to the palette knife. The palette knife is a tool that we have in our toolbox and I'm going to blend and smooth that paint together. The palette knife just gives it a smoother texture. It helps to refine the texture and make it look a little bit more professional. I am now going to continue this process for every single space between my banyan tree branches. Using cool colors as my color scheme, I can use different tints and shades of one color, or I could try mixing maybe blue with green and see how it looks. Do this across the whole thing. Don't forget to use the palette knife to smooth out those colors so it evens out the texture of your paint. Once you have filled up all the spaces in between the tree branches, I am now going to move on to working on the lower half of my picture, which is going to have warm colors as if it was a sunset. So you can see how it's on another layer. And the purpose for this is that when we color, it goes behind the black lines instead of on top of the black lines. It also makes it easier to fix mistakes. We don't have to worry about erasing our black lines if we want to erase some of the coloring that we've already done. I'm going to start with yellow. I'm going to put yellow 
between the tree branch and the horizon line on both sides of the tree. So it's symmetrical from one side of the paper to the other. I'm also going to do the reflection on the ground. Now you could think of this ground space as either land or water. It's up to you how you want to interpret it. And then I'm going to add orange. Try not to let the colors touch just yet because as soon as they start to touch, they're going to start to mix. And then I'm also going to do red, making sure it's close to symmetrical on either side. Then after that, I can go ahead and I can start blending them together. I'm going to use my palette knife once again. I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger though this time because I have a bigger space to blend. And I'm going to try to smooth all those colors together with my palette knife. Once I have done that, I'm going to switch to black paint and I'm going to create, oh, make sure you adjust the size, and I'm going to create kind of a shadowy effect from the aerial roots across the bottom of the ground. That looks good. So now the next step is going to be to export. First, make sure you save your work. Always save your work. You never know when something might happen. You might lose what you did. So save it. Then we're going to go to export image. From there, you want to export as a JPEG file. This will save it to our images. You want to click save image. And from here, we are going to close out of ArtRage and switch to the Percolator app. In Percolator, you're going to start by tapping on the camera, go to your photo library. In the photo library, go to your camera roll, find your recently saved image of your banyan tree. It is going to automatically apply a filter to it for you. But you can go in and at the bottom, there's lots of different ways you can adjust the settings. There's three different sections. One has to do with the size of the bubbles, one has to do with the type of bubbles, and the other one has to do with like the color and the texture of the bubbles. So just go ahead and play with it. As you can see, there's a little side arrow in each section that gives you even more options as to how you might want to adjust, modify, or refine your banyan tree. Have fun with this part. This is the part where you get to be creative with it, try out the different filters, see what the different colors do, don't forget to check out under the serve section if you tap that little arrow. It also gives you paper texture. You can see how it might make it look like it's on a piece of linoleum or a piece of slate or even clouds. So go through there and kind of experiment with it. And you can save more than one copy of your banyan tree. When we get to the saving portion, you can save it as many different times as you want. So you could have a lot of different versions of your artwork saved. Once you have decided on the banyan tree and you're ready to save, think about what you're gonna do with your art after you save it. You might wanna upload a copy of it to your computer through either Dropbox or OneDrive or AirDrop, or you might wanna print directly to a printer that's hooked to a Wi-Fi. or you could even, if you talk to your art teacher at your school, save a copy of it to Art Sonia so you can share it with your family and friends. Once you have finished your tree, go ahead and tap on that export box, the box with the arrow, then select Save to Photos, and you can decide on how you want to share your art with others. Thanks for joining us today and I hope you enjoyed making your digital banyan tree.